Again, good morning. Welcome to Jordan High School. Um, we're going to make a quick change. Um, I know it's been announced that this is a memorial, but after talking it over with everyone, we decided to make this a celebration, a celebration of the life of James Melroy. Um, for those of you who knew him, you knew that he wouldn't want us to be sitting here crying about his passing, but rather celebrating his life. Um, and in fact, if, if probably the last time you saw James, he probably made you smile instead of making you cry. So we want to keep that going. We don't want the last memory of James of us crying about his passing. We want his last memory of James of him making us smile. And today, the speakers we have, hopefully we can accomplish that today. James, my life you did become more interesting. Um, I have a lot of to owe for James for that. I mean, obviously I don't go to the UFC if it's not for James. I don't, you know, write stuff out again. You know, I don't try to become a writer again in a blog or, or even at some uh, reporting events if needed. You know, and, and if it wasn't for James, I can't say this without, without a smile and a laugh, but if it wasn't for James, I wouldn't have had lunch with a Playboy Centerfold once. <laughs> I feel a little underdressed when I'm standing next to Andres. A, lo a little bit. But yeah, it's real weird that I wear shorts. Um, but when Andres had told me that this was going to be more of a celebration rather than a very somber, oh, we remember James. He was a very nice guy. I figured this would be the one thing that he would want me to wear, this shirt. And when I came out of the bedroom, my daughter looked at me and she goes, why are you wearing that? And if you can't see, it's, it's a shirt completely made of bobbleheads. And I don't mind saying in front of his wonderful mom, Carol, that James Mower had a, quite the social life. He was quite the ladies man. He had girlfriends stretching from Orange County to Palmdale. And on one occasion, after I picked him up from a rendezvous in Lancaster, after the hour drive just beat me down, I finally said, you know what, James? You know, I know you're a pimp, man, but can't you keep him in the county lines? Come on. And uh, I said, hey, I got some news. I said, uh, I'm going to be a dad, Bruce, Bruce pregnant. And he looked at me with this very, very serious look on my face. He says, Steve-o, because I'm, I'm, I just want you to know that I will put all my investigation skills together, my news reporting skills together, and I will find out exactly who's responsible for this. <laughs> James was my friend in every sense of the word. Our days began at Long Beach City College on the Viking staff. I will always remember our days in the food court or in the Viking office, just having a good time, talking about anything or just doing nothing. I will miss our talks about American Idol and who we liked or who we voted for. And of course, who should be voted off the show immediately. I will miss how he'd always tell our coworkers that he was the real James that I ran off and got married instead of my husband, James. I will miss our hugs and our kisses that we shared every time we saw each other. <laughs> Let's cherish the moments that we shared with James. We will miss him, but we have all been blessed to have had him in our lives. My prayers are with his family, to his mother, Carol. You raised an extraordinary son, and we thank you for allowing all of us to be a part of his life. God bless you, and may he comfort your heart during this time of grief. <laughs> 